Okay, so part two, because my phone was ringing and I got interrupted. So associative and associ association means that two things are associated, but they don't cause one or the other. Um, another example would be um, your shoe size and your SAT score. There's going to be a positive relationship because obviously the older you are, the bigger your foot is going to be and the smarter you're going to be. So as your, your foot size goes up, your shoe size goes up, um, your SAT score is going to go up. But obviously your shoe size does not cause, um, does not cause your SAT score. To have a causal relationship, you must also have association. So you can have association without causation, but you can't have causation without association. So you must have association with causation. Okay, so let's look at our example. So first we want to decide, is there an association? As the number of ice cream cones sold increases, the number of cars in the parking lot of the store increases. Okay, you could probably say as one goes up, the other is going up, and so that is a positive association. Well, does the sale of ice cream cones cause a lot of cars, or does a lot of cars cause ice cream cones to be sold? No, there is no um, causation with that. Okay, number eight. As the weight of a bowl of frozen yogurt increases, so if one goes up, the total cost also increases. So again, that is a positive association. And so next we need to ask ourselves, does one thing cause the other? Does the weight cause the cost? And the answer is yes, because think about when you go to Yemalicious or something like that. There is causation. If you're charging by um, the weight of the bowl, then yes, as the cost goes up. So that one has a positive association, and it is causation. Okay, the next one. As the number of coffee shops increase, so as one goes up, the number, number of movie rental stores decreases. Okay, so that's a fact. One is going up, the other is going down, so that is a negative association. But does coffee shops going up cause the number of movie rental stores to go down? No, they have no, no relationship in the terms of one causing the other. And so that would be a, a negative association. Okay, number 10, as the cost of gasoline increases, the number of trucks sold decreases. Okay, that is a negative association because as one goes up, the other is going down. Now, you might be able to argue that this is a causation because if the price of gasoline is really, really high, then that probably is going to cause people to not buy trucks because trucks um, take up a lot of fuel. Um, I know I thought about that when the price of gas got really high about buying a car with better um, fuel efficiency. So you could argue that there is a causation. However, you probably could argue it the other way that there is no causation. 